But this is what is actually happening at this stage. And the, and the, vital, the, the vital instrument that we have as a society to engage is the education system. And that education system, I'll say it again, is 30 years behind the times in terms of what is actually happening in, in, in the classroom. So that's so. If we're talking about the, um, I mean, uh, in one of our, our documents there, we have a, a picture, a whole series of pictures of children of different day, diff, different uh, different ethnicities and different genders. And on one side it is what careers. Right? And on the other side is what, what skills attributes. And the, the point about it is, is that we need, it needs to be a, a, a absolutely perfectly valid educational outcome for a young person to say, I am going to be a highly socially, uh, a high, highly socially aware um, uh, uh, bus driver, that's a good example, who is a, a, a highly effective person in the community. I'm thinking of one, you know, and that's Tom Highland, who was a bus driver who ended up uh, being a leading, uh, a leading campaigner for the East Timor campaign. That is, it, that is just as valid an outcome for our education system, in some ways maybe more, than simply somebody who's got a maximum number of points in a narrow set of academic tests. And so, that's, this is the framework that we're, we're trying to engage with. We're trying to engage with the actual hopes and, ho hopes and fears of parents and the actual hopes and fears of young people. So they are empowered to, to go into a world in which they will probably have three, four, or five different... I mean, I'm at my fourth, fourth career, right? And I suspect there's only a few people who are older than me. Older than me. But the, the reality is that all of you are going to have two or three at least careers. I'm, 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 I'll take a, a cheap shot at those, those, uh, 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 those who may remain in the education system from cradle to grave. But apart from that, in the, the, the reality is that all of us, most of the jobs that you, you guys are going to be doing in 10 years' time probably have only vaguely been thought of today. So. The important thing, the important thing is, is the question of the empowering of the confidence of the, of the confidence of the of the individual to challenge, to ask questions, to critically evaluate, and to find new paths. Because the, the reality is that my generation has left you with a, a, quite a mess to, to clear up, and our stratified, class-ridden attitude towards towards knowledge, towards science, has left left us in, in, this, in this particular situation. To give you a really good example of what we're trying to do in, 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 in science, for example, we're trying to make the distinction between the knowledge generating subjects rather than the knowledge accumulating subjects. And that is that we, I mean, we see no reason why second level uh, uh, school students should not be involved in serious research. You know this idea this idea, um, and I think it's, it's softened slightly, but if you study science, and you study science at, 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 at the second level, and you learn all your formulae, and you, etc., and you pass your exams, and you get, to, you, you get to, to, to university, and you go to first year, and you have to sort of try to, your, your, your lecturers try to deprogram you from the, the way in which you were taught for your, for your, for your leading cert. Am I making sense here, right? And then finally you get your degree. And if you're really good, and if you've got a nice relationship with your professors or lecturers, then you might be allowed to do a bit of research. And that research costs a fortune. You know? And the university has to go and get a huge grade. So do you, well, are they ethical or not? I don't know, deals with commercial organizations to, to sponsor research? No, is that science? Is that teaching science? What we want to do is to say, right, okay, we have 560,000 primary school children. Um, they haven't, they, their, their, their questioning has not been um, carefully tuned by 10 years of, 10 years of, uh, of conditioning in educational institutions. 
uh, why don't we send them out into the highways and byways to, com to do a complete service, uh, census of islands for, for our own form, for example. So we actually train their ability to go and examine, to observe, to collect, to bring back, and bring it back to a primary school uh, classroom. And nowadays, of course, we can put a microscope or a digital camera in, in the corner of the class. If the teacher doesn't know doesn't know all the different uh, species, then off it goes to the second of biology teacher. And if they don't know, then off it goes to, off it goes to the zoology department of the university. I guarantee you that if we did that, there would be one classroom in, you know, uh, I don't know, St. Columbus National School in Ballyhornis, or this or the other, will be credited in nature for the, for the uh, discovery of a, a hitherto unknown species. Guarantee you. Because simply as a result of the, the, the extent to which we now travel and trade, the, there is just huge amounts of uh, species and interaction with species which has never been known before in the history of mankind. So, that's, that's teaching science from our point of view. Or getting, getting a group of second level students to go into their local, their, their local um, uh, uh, hospital with the brief, examine how this place works and, and make recommendations. I can guarantee you again that those, group, those groups of, of young people will be able to make uh, concrete and sensible and realistic proposals in which will save our state enormous sums of money and um, produce a much more efficient ed education uh, um, health system. We see it every year in the Young Scientists Exhibition. And how many points do you get for winning the gold medal in the Young Science, the Scientist Exhibition in the, in the leading circle? How many? Zero. Absolutely none. So, I mean, these are the type of things which we're trying to engage with. And I, to be, I'll be blunt and honest, I cannot understand why a sensible government faced with a, a, a really passionate, dynamic, uh, dy dynamic charity which only gets, gets less than 20% of its income from the state and is able to, to harness voluntary support and voluntary initiative and, and private uh, philanthropic support. I cannot understand why, the, why our current government doesn't just simply uh, you know, get behind us. But they don't. And uh, from my view, they're just simply trying to look at a gift horse in the mouth and, and, and uh, kicking it in the teeth at the same time. Anyway, you, you should stop me. <laughs> <laughs>